Hey, welcome to this session. In this session, you're gonna learn how to detect and remove outliers using box plot. Uh, outlier, why, what is a, an outlier? An outlier is a data point that differs significantly from other observations, or if a data point is far from the other observations, that is an outlier, and that outlier is will not important for our data, uh, machine learning prediction. The accuracy of the model, uh, will not be uh, good enough. So if there is an outlier in your data set. So we are going to detect and uh, remove outlier from your uh, data. An outlier may be due to variability in the measurement of, or it may indicate experimental error. Outliers can occur by chance in any distribution in your data but they often indicate either measurement error or the, that the population has a heavy tailed distribution. So in this session, you're gonna learn how to detect the outliers using box plot. Actually, the box plot will help us to uh, uh, detect uh, the uh, outliers of numerical data. If you wanted to detect the skewness of categorical data, you can use bar plot. Okay. Let's try to see uh, this practice. Let's read and explore the data set. Uh, for manipulating or manipulating our data, we are going to use Pandas, Matplotlib for visualization and Seaborn. Seaborn is another uh, great visualization tool that is built on top of Matplotlib. Okay, let's read our data. Our data train data dot read csv that is train dot csv i have uh, a train dot csv data uh, which is clean data actually you cannot detect the outliers of uncleaned data so you are required to clean your data for uh, detecting outliers so my data is already cleaned and ready for uh, machine learning model prediction or developing building pipeline. So I'm going to detect the outliers from my training data. Let's explore our data, uh, data.head, the first five rows. Uh, try to take a look at this data and there are uh, a lot of columns and rows and we can check the missing values of our data as null dot sum. So our data is uh, free from any missing values. In this case, there is no missing values in our data set, so that is great, we are lucky. Uh, if there are any missing uh, values in your data, you can uh, deal with that missing data by imputing the missing values, uh, either using mean or mo uh, median, or uh, you maybe uh, drop that missing uh, value uh, data column uh, due to some reasons. So you can watch the previous uh, tutorials about uh, dealing with missing data. Okay, let's continue. Let's check our dimensions of data. Train data dot shape. That is the rows and columns. We have seven columns and 10 rows. So we have a small data set in uh, our case. So uh, one of the column is uh, string. So this column and string is not important for uh, in uh, uh, plotting uh, the box plot or visualize in box plot because box plots just visualizes the numerical data only. So we are going to uh, drop this column. Okay, let's get uh, numerical columns, num, calls train data dot describe I exclude object okay let's check new calls okay all new this is a distribution of our data the statistical summary of our data so accept the object the city that is string so all the numerical statistical values of numerical data is uh, like this. So we are going to just uh, get column and names of numerical data. 
call names num dot columns let's check call names okay all the numerical columns are extracted here so we are going to use uh, those numerical columns for visualizing the box plots uh, and detecting the outliers of uh, each uh, variable okay let's plot the box plot to visualize the distribution of the data uh, okay let's plot figure we can space uh, provide the pig size uh, the wedges and highs heights of our tool so we have six uh, columns so we are going to visualize or plot six box plotters so so we can uh, just plot the six plotters uh, box plotters in a grid layout so to do this, we can simply use a for loop and simply write a simple code to visualize all, iteratively visualize all columns uh, of the box plot. Okay, for I, we have in range six uh, columns, numerical columns, and let's tight each box, the layout of each box, Okay, let's create the grid column. The grid column is, we will divide the six columns into three rows and uh, two columns in a grid layout. So the first represents the rows, three rows, and the second represents the column. So we will have three rows and two columns. And the third is the number of the box that represented uh, at which position the box is uh, plotted or visualized. So we are going to iteratively add because it is increased from one up to six. We will have six plotters, box plotters. We can, it starts from one up to six. Now we are going to add the axis. So this uh, add the grid uh, column into the figure pig dot add subplot and we so this uh, number uh, digits uh, should be integer so we are going to convert into integer and pass to the function add subplot okay now we are going to uh, use seaborn to plot the box plot of our uh, data seaborn sns dot box plot, we pass the data, that is our training data. From our uh, training data, we pass the x-axis. The x-axis uh, 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 should be the column name from our data. x uh, call names and x i, which uh, gets from uh, each array. And we pass the axis, AX, already created here. Now we are going to show the plot. Okay, this is a simple co uh, code, just iteratively creates a grid layout of the box plot. And simply we can run this code, uh, name, figure. Okay, sorry, this is plt.figure. Uh, Okay, this, uh, all the six plots are visualized here. Uh, the first uh, plot is census population. The second plot is land area. The third plot is household with under 80. The fourth is population density. The fifth total families and total powder city cells. So we can simply detect the outliers from our data. The box plot uh, indicators this uh, the first this one uh, shows represents the lower bound and this box uh, rectangular box uh, shows the 
interquartile range, and this is the upper bound. Up uh, above the upper bound or below the upper the below bow, uh, bound uh, are the outliers. So our data point, which is above the upper bound, in this case, is for example uh, around six thousand. Uh, data point is uh, the data point at six thousand is our layer. So the data point which is greater than around three thousand above three uh, or three thousand five hundred is a data point uh, uh, an outlier. So we are going to drop uh, or exclude the data point which is greater than three thousand five hundred. Uh, population size. So if there is an, an outlier, so in, in the census population, there is one data point, which is an outlier. In the second la, uh, land area, uh, the same is true. Uh, greater than 4,900 uh, around, we can, there is an outlier, uh, one data point, which is uh, differ from uh, the observation. So uh, that is an outlier. And in the third, also there is one hour layer, uh, and so on. So we are going to uh, drop the outliers from our uh, data. We, we are going to exclude the data pointers, which is uh, above the upper bound of our box plot, upper bound of our box plot, and we are going. To, but be careful while uh, uh, excluding or dropping the data point, which is an hour layer. If you have a small, a small data uh, set, uh, dropping uh, the outlier is not a solution. You may probably uh, impute the values of uh, the outliers uh, based on the mean or median of the total uh, uh, data values. Uh, because if you drop, for example, here, all six uh, columns have an outlier. If you draw, uh, drop uh, six data pointers, you maybe lose uh, six number of rows from your data, probably. So that is not a, a good uh, decision. So you have to make sure while dropping the outliers of the data, if you have uh, large enough data point uh, data setters, so you can drop the outliers from your data. So next time we will see another topic. So stay with us and learn a lot about uh, data science and machine learning. Thanks for watching. Now.